Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. This is Professor Diaz, and in today's video lesson, we're going to continue our lesson on pointers. So remember, pointers are variables that point to specific memory locations of variables. So that's essentially what it is. It, it's not uh, it's not super duper complicated, but I don't know why it gets muddled and it feels complicated. Um, but hopefully this lesson will help you understand pointers a little better, or at least how they work. So first things first, we're going to, you are going to make a boilerplate. <laughs> um, and then we're going to create some declarations. And we're going to have, oops, we're going to have inside, ooh, I don't know what I pressed. Inside, we're going to have a variable called area and we're going to have a variable called perimeter. And we're going to create pointers for these variables. So like I said before, to create a pointer variable, you put the type of pointer variable and the asterisk or you can put the asterisk in front of the variable name. So you'll see it like this lesson, it's going to look like this. And I think on the source files, it looks like this. So it's up to you, however, wherever you wanna put that asterisk, as long as it's right after the type or right before the variable, uh, pointer variable name. Okay, so I like to do mine like that. And we're going to make an area pointer. And we're not going to forget to put the pointer, the asterisk. And then we're going to create one more for the perimeter. Great. And let's see. We should assign values to our pointers here. Um, there's going to be two versions of this. The first version is not going to use pointers, and the second version will. And I'm hoping that when we compare the two, it helps you understand the inner workings of pointers, or at least like the way they work in the program. That's really important. So. Let's go ahead and assign values to our pointers. And we are going to use the address of operator, the ampersand, and we're going to assign it to whatever side is. So the address, the location, the uh, location in memory where side is, that's what we're going to store with our side pointer. That's where we're, we're going to store. And next I'm going to well, PTR equals, and then we'll put ampersand area. You see where this is going. Um, and then we'll have perimeter PTR equals ampersand perimeter. All right, so we have our variables. Next, I want to get the user information. And this is going to be different for get the user information. This is going to be different for two versions. So we're going to have version one and we're going to have version two pointers. Okay, I hope that makes it clear. Um, so for version one, uh, you're going to do something very, very familiar, and we're going to have a see out statement. We're going to enter and enter, enter a side value. And we're going to see inside. And we're going to have a calculation section. And we're going to assign area to POW side comma 2.0, so a double. And we're going to assign perimeter to four times the side. 
finally, our output is going to output what the side area and perimeter are. So see how side value is side see out the area value is area and see out the perimeter perimeter value is perimeter and okay, um, that's it for this program. Let's go ahead and run it. When it's running. I'm just trying to. Okay, um, so I'm going to enter a side value. I'm going to enter a small side value of two, and the side value is two. The area is four and the perimeter is eight. And that all checks out. We use small numbers because we could do the math in our head and this all checks out. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now we're going to do this with pointers. So I'm gonna comment out version one and we're going to do version two, which is with pointers. Okay. So see out, enter a side value, just like before. But this time, we're going to sort in the, we're going to store the value here. So again, when the asterisk, when we're using the asterisk like this, this is the value that the address is uh, the value that's being pointed to. So not, it's not an address, but it is the value that's stored in that address. That's what we want to put there. And next I'm going to perform our calculations. And we're going to say area PTR equals error R area PTR equals how side comma 2.0 and we're going to also create the print or we're going to assign the perimeter pointer that value that we want to store at that location is four times the side so again this is referring to the value that's located there And we're going to output. So area is, and then we're going to use the reference operator, area pointer, and build. So this is going to show us the value where whatever memory address we're pointing to we're going to display those contents. That's what this is doing. See out perimeter is perimeter pointer. And we're going to try to run this. Hopefully there's no errors. So side value, we're going to use two again, and the area is four and perimeter is eight. So again, well, why, why did that happen? I thought it was going to be one of those hex numbers. No, because we want to get the value that's being pointed to. That's what this is. Okay, I think that's it uh, as far as this lesson is concerned. So that's how to use them. Um, in the next video lesson, we will um, pass by reference, pass by value using the pointers. So thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful day.